Very, very, very big day on tour today. I'll tell you why in a second. I gotta catch a train. You see, about 14 months ago, I was in this exact kind of position, and I live for the moment when things come full circle, you know? And what's the significance of this little place here? Well, I was walking down this street, it's still windy as ever. It was my first day at Max Kelson, starting an internship as a machine learning engineer. On the way to the internship, a little bit scared, but you know the same feelings that, that scared cause, or the same emotions that, the same hormones that cause you to be scared are the same ones that cause you to be excited. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip that scaredness on its head and start to start to get excited and go in and learn some things. I just caught the train here with my little brother. So thanks for the chat, bro. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys uh, either after the day or through the day if I can share what I've learned. And that led into a job. And now, coming full circle, today is my last day. We on? Yep, we're on. Okay, as you can probably tell from the start of the video, I left my job as a machine learning engineer at Max Kelson. And uh, the TLDR version is I decided to try and do my own thing for a little bit. All right, well that's enough. No, I'm kidding, I'll, I'll give you a bit more of a backstory. All right, so long story short, I had a little bit of a gut feeling that was kind of telling me, you know what, Daniel, you should try and take a, take a risk. See if you can go out on your own and start your own business. So that is essentially what I'm going to be doing for, I was gonna insert a timeline there, but I kind of don't have a timeline in mind, let's say forever, because that is the most ideal case. And instead of thinking about what's going to go wrong, I've decided to start reminding myself what could go right. Because when I was writing my letter of resignation on the train, typing it out on my iPhone, in my head it was going, you know what, this job is really good. These people are really good. The problems you're working on are really good. You're learning lots of things. Why the hell are you typing a letter of resignation? So it was arguing with my gut. And I can't really decipher what my gut was saying, but I had this little feeling in there that's just like boiling up and it's just doing these circles and it's kind of like, are you gonna listen to me or not? It's kind of like someone was constantly, imagine someone constantly walking around, poking you, going, hey, hey, you, you doing that thing? You doing that thing you said you are gonna do? You know that thing you really wanna do? And that's kind of what I'm doing now, doing that thing I really wanna try and do. Well, I really wanna do. I'm gonna stop using the word try. Uh, I should have left it at the TLDR version. Now it's just me rambling with a whole bunch of uh, quotes you could put on a postcard. But what exactly am I gonna be doing? Well, I'm gonna be making, making videos online, so if you wanna see anything, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get to you. And don't worry, if you've already suggested something, I've got a list as long as my arm of things that videos I should make because you're all so helpful in suggesting in the comments and, and other various resources, things I should make. And I don't ignore them, trust me, I just I just put them in a list so I can look at them at a later time. What else is there? Well, essentially I've got some income now. I've decreased my burn rate, which means the amount of money it costs for you to live, let's say food, rent and expenses, to a very small amount. I mean, I don't do much apart from sit in my room and, and work on my computer and work out. So I don't really have that many expenses. I'm pretty lucky in that way. And so I've got a bunch of cash saved up that I can use to, to live and then kind of work out this whole business thing. And I mean, the good, good news is, as I said, I've got some, some cash coming in for now, but I don't want to, to rely on that. I want to use that to build something larger. And the idea I kind of have at the moment is something to do with health and nutrition education in terms of an application to do that. But what does that exactly look like? I'm not sure. It would be good if I had a map. But future Dan won't tell me anything at this, how this whole venture works out, will ya? Rule number one about the future. Don't tell people from the past about the future. A known future is already the past. So that works. But don't worry, there'll still be plenty of videos around health, technology, and just creative stuff in general. That's kind of the circle I want to, I like to live my life by, is that uh, 
Learning to create and creating to learn. If you imagine, it just goes round and round and round. So that's, that's essentially where I'm trying to go. And I read a quote from a smart person the other day. If you haven't followed him on Twitter already, you should. It's from Naval Ravikant. Uh, he's at Naval on Twitter. And he posts these beautiful things. It's some of the stuff you could, you could... I could get all of his tweets tattooed on my body. I'm not going to do that, right? Because I like tattoos, but not that much. The quote he says is, you have to keep changing what you do until you become the best in the world at it. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm going to keep reinventing what I'm doing until I'm the best person in the world at it. And what's that? Well, I'd like to think it's going to be somewhere in the crossover of the three things I've mentioned before, health, technology, and art. So we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime... We'll see you on Sunday. We're doing a live stream. If you have any questions or, or Q&A, leave them below and I'll get to them on Sunday. But uh, yeah, I think that's enough. I've rambled enough now. As always, keep learning, keep getting after it, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, wait. If you do want to help out, there's one thing you could do, and that's leave a like or, or subscribe to the channel or something like that. But otherwise, just being here, just saying hey, that's, that's enough. You don't even have to say hey. I'm rambling too much now. All right, I gotta get better at saying goodbyes. Oh, P.S. Thank you everyone at Max Kelson. What you did for me is amazing. I love the team there, love the work there. As I said, was no easy decision. Head was like, this thing is really good that you have right here. But gut was like, try it, see how it goes. Worst case, 20 years you look back and you go, oh, I don't regret making that decision. That was just a really challenging time. Peace. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys had an amazing time at the internship today. It's about 7 p.m. tonight, so I'm home a little late. I was up really early and now it's dark outside, but I'm pumped. You know why? Because when you're learning great things and you're around great people, it's hard not to be full of energy and I think that's that's where I get most of my energy from, is from, from working on hard things, committing to it, doing it, seeing results and meeting great people.